Hello, in this lesson we are going to learn how to process goods receipt with the wrong uh, supply or quantity variance. Quantity variance is the difference in the quantity received and the PO quantity. To process the goods receipt with variance or wrong supply against the PO, I will be using transaction MIGO, which I have used earlier to post uh, goods receipt and this transaction can be found by navigating the the following sub menu path so let's go first to logistics go to materials management go to purchasing then click on purchase order and then go to follow on functions then go ahead and double click on transaction MIGO goods receipt and this will open the goods receipt purchase order screen notice the default values displayed on the screen are goods receipt purchase order and GR goods receipt 101 let's go ahead now click on the search icon to find the purchase order and go ahead and let's go click on search icon against the vendor we have to find the vendor and the material number and let's go and say eram click enter this is the vendor I'm looking for so let's go ahead and double click on that and let's go and click on the material number let's go ahead and click on the search icon I'm going to use bearing for this lesson again go and double click on 100-510 now let's go and click on uh, find to search for the purchase order The system found two purchase orders under Iramco group and notice actually I'm gonna choose the second one here that ends with 18094 and uh, you notice the quantity is 4 quantity has been ordered so let's go ahead and click on the adopt icon to create a copy of the PO data to the goods receipt transaction select the purchase order then click on adopt notice the quantity or the PO data is being copied to the goods receipt transaction let's go and click on the X mark here or icon to close the result of our search for a PO then go ahead and click on transport equipment At the time you're about to process the goods receipt, uh, you found that the quantity that was delivered wasn't exactly the same quantity you have ordered. So let's go ahead and click on the quantity and enter the actual uh, quantity received, which is two. And then go ahead and mark the line item OK by checking the indicator we're about to post the goods receipt before I do that let's go ahead and check the system for any errors by clicking on the, the check icon notice that SAP displays a text message a warning message with a yellow mark yellow mark is for warning red is actually for an error so stating that there is a shortage of two pieces Please keep in mind that you are still allowed to post the goods although we have a yellow mark there. So let's go ahead and click on the continue to close the warning message. The yellow triangle next to the line item giving us a warning. But as I said still the user can post the goods receipt and as I said if we have red light 
uh, the system will not allow you to post the goods receipt. Click now on the post icon to create a good receipt document. Notice the SAP system displays a message at the bottom of the screen indicating that the material document that ends with 20829 posted. And this is actually conclude our lesson on how to uh, post or to process goods received against the particular PO with variance. Keep in mind that the PO information will be updated automatically after the goods receipt transaction is completed. Let's go ahead now and view the data in the updated PO after posting the goods receipt. So let's go ahead and click on the back out icon to go back to the SAP menu. We have to follow the same, pretty much the same uh, path, logistics, materials management, purchasing, purchase order. Then we have transaction ME23 and display. So let's go ahead and double click. Notice the purchase order is displayed and showing the status of uh, the PO under the header. We have orders for, uh, being delivered to, and still to deliver is to. So whatever we have posted in the goods receipt transaction is reflecting right here uh, under transaction ME23 and display. Let's go ahead now and close the header section and go and open the line item details by clicking on the item icon. If this is not open, go ahead and click on it to open it and go to the purchase order history. Look at the status of the purchase order history is showing the quantity you have just posted. Go ahead now and click on the back out icon and this will bring us to the end of this lesson. So let's go ahead and review the quiz questions in this lesson to find out how much you have learned from this lesson and if you have any problem you could go back and review material one more time.